Y'all got to be careful with Facebook. Because people be hating on you and you don't even know they hating on you, but they be hating on you. You know, they be posting subliminal statuses and stuff. You know, but I try not to feed into all of that stuff. When I go up there, I go on the yard sale. Don't they be having some stuff up there? <laughs> that's, that's what I like to look at. And, you know, I, I think it's strange, you know, they always tell you that it's smoke-free, pet odor-free, but they don't tell you if it's roaches or bed bug-free, do they? They don't never say that. What about them, what about them creepy-crawly things? Don't tell me about your pets, you know. Uh, Facebook is, is, is just... So, it's just so much going on on Facebook. I keep seeing all these rest in peace. Y'all been seeing that in y'all timeline too? Those bro mad crazy now. Now, I don't feel bad when things happen to people, but you know, sometimes if that's how you live. You know what I'm saying? That's how you go out, you know? So, just throw the dirt on and keep moving, you know? That's about all you can do. And you know, one thing I don't like about Facebook is a lot of stuff that's on Facebook is not true. Like, for instance, I was looking through my timeline. They was talking about um, Suge Knight had died. Did anybody see that? Okay. It, but, see, it wasn't really true. And I knew it was, wasn't true before I even clicked on it. Because they said Suge Knight dies from a stab in the neck. Now, we all know Suge Knight ain't got no neck. <laughs> that nigga just head and shoulders. <laughs> It's a trip, ain't it? <laughs> Everything ain't true on Facebook. Everything ain't true. But I like to talk about my kids a lot. I believe that God gave me children to test my patience. Because I'm not a very patient person. You know, I get real impatient. You know, for little things. You know, sometimes I experience road rage. The light green, you ain't turned yet. I'm laying on my horn. <laughs> Believe God for my deliverance. Don't let me. <laughs> but like, I, I'm not the most patient person. But anyway, you know, my kids, you know, I was trying to find different things where they can earn money around the house. <clears throat> but this how lazy my kids is. They did it for one day and didn't do it for nothing else. So I figured, well, hey, if they ain't going to do it for the money, maybe they'll do it for the belt. <laughs> I went through my house and whooped everybody that I boy. I won't play no game. Shoot, I gotta go to the school and whoop my youngie. Girl right there recording, she'll tell you, I'm playing no game. School like that. We ain't even midway through the year and the teacher calling me already? It's a problem. And the teachers, they be trying to say, but they were like, now you know, Harmony, your mother doesn't play that. Then when I show up on that van on two wheels, she want to be all scared. You know what I'm saying? And that's true. My kids off the chain, you know, because like they'll do something and I know they scared and I'll make them walk by me. Hey, y'all mamas or y'all kids do that. Like you make them walk by me, they do not want to walk by me. It's like double dutch with my daughter. Hold it. Hold it. Like, I was like, come on, y'all. Here she goes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, adrenaline just running. <laughs> but that's what I do. You know, times you change. You got to stay on your kids. And I don't know what's up with these new age mothers. You remember earlier I told you these kids, they would come over my house like 12 hour shifts. I'm like, you ain't even going to call to see if your kid okay. You ain't never seen me at all. <laughs> but your children at my house. I don't understand these new age mothers. They got their five-year-old watching their one-year-old. They in the club. I, I don't understand. Everybody want to turn up. I don't turn up. I turn off. <laughs> Get in and turn that light off. I know nobody ain't up there 